and I answer questions. Okay, is there somebody here who can answer questions? I don't answer questions. Okay, I don't really know how to respond to that, sir. You got anything you want to say about that? I don't answer questions. Would you mind telling us why? I don't answer questions. Okay. Guys, this is the Hope County Sheriff's Department. Mask is required when entering the building. One of the green arrows it says. Jorgensen family, the Liquors. Okay. The whole family is in there. Nice. Yeah. The whole family is looking. Yeah, you gotta stay on the green line until we're called forward. Uh, yes, ma'am. There's a tray up there. It says this is a public record, but do not remove from the tray. How, how are we supposed to look at that? <laughs> can I can I take it out of the tray and look at it? Or I, I mean, it's just weird. Up there on the top there. It says this is a public record. Do not remove from tray. But it looks like if you step up there, it looks like booking reports or whatever that you can look at. I think I think what they mean I think what they mean is that you can look at it, but you gotta put it back in that tray. But of course I didn't want to take it and look at it, and then all of a sudden them come out and say, Look, it says do not take. Probably another severe 
to themselves, not to take those out. Oh, leave them in there? Yeah. We'll, we'll see. They're supposed to be out there. Hopefully we'll see. Take the train. That's what he's okay, okay, I just wanted to clarify. All right, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, she was. Larceny, larceny, runaway juvenile. So that was on 418. Yeah, 418. That was yesterday. Yep. So this one right here. That was the night log. Yep. Okay, so. Communicating threats, larceny, arson, larceny. Well, this is who gets booked into jail. And yeah. on my charges. Yeah, patrol briefing log. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. So, okay, so I want to keep these in order. Right. So this is the night on the 17th. Yep. So there's two shifts. Simple assault, another runaway juvenile. Seems I got a lot of problems with runaway <coughs> juveniles. Juveniles running away around here, huh? And taking them to jail, child abuse. Uh oh. Yeah. Child abuse. See what else a lot, a lot of times there's a bullshit charge. Yeah. A lot of times, most of the time. Larceny. There's another sheet behind this one. Right, let me put these down so I can get this one. Common law robbery. B and E. Information. Simple assault. Information. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I think they just wrote the word information there because they don't have a charge. That's a good possibility. Maybe it's like a call. Somebody was taken to jail without a charge is what this is. That's what we should, if, we, if we're ever going to look into something, it should be this case right here. Okay, the information. You see one. what I'm saying? Cause they, okay, let me get the address. So somebody, There's the address right here, guys. 2917 Donegal Drive, Rampers. Yep. yep. Report number 2204022. Here's another one. Information. Ooh, we could ask her. Okay. What that means. Yeah. Alright, so let's put these back. That one goes on top of this one. And then these all go on top of that one. Okay, so, all right, yeah, let's see. Because the computer won't let you book somebody unless you fill in the fields. 
Yeah, unless you put something in there. Yeah. That's probably what that is, that information then. Let's find out. She's right there. Ma'am, we, we had another question real quick. Uh, on the sheet here, under, hey, under the incident, it says information. Is there any way we could find out what that is? Because the rest of them have like, okay, this one says common law robbery, B&E, simple assault. And this one just says information. Get a DVO up here. Hello? Is there anybody there that can help? What can I do for you? We asked that young lady that was in the front here if she could find somebody to tell us about this information thing under the incident. Someone is on their way. Uh, on their way? Or, they, yeah, someone is, the officer is on his way. He's not coming from Florida, is he? <laughs> no, just as soon as he'll be here for Charlie. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Because it's from Florida. It's a good eight hours away. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be here for eight hours. Yeah, you can see Jeff in there. <laughs> you can see him in there. Yeah. See him? Yeah. Yeah. Good. How are you doing, sir? I'm Lieutenant Nazadi with the Sheriff's Office. Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Um, Let me show you what I was looking for. Um, we read some of your public information there, and what we were looking for is this information. We've seen it on a couple of the papers, mm -hmm. and we noticed everything else had a charge. Mm -hmm. We were just wondering what that information is. is information that like, is just strictly information. No crime has been committed. No crime has been committed. That's correct. Okay, so it wasn't that someone was arrested and they just weren't charged yet. No, there's no crime. No crime. Like okay. if a stray dog pooped in your yard, it's information. It's not a crime. Okay. If a stray dog pooped in my yard, wouldn't that be a crime? No. Oh, gosh. Is there anything else we can help you with, sir? Uh, what's a signal 22? It's a sex offender. Oh, okay. Um, do you Good. guys happen to have identification? For what? Uh, our policy 4-05 states that any person who's in our facility, upon request, has to provide identification. So your policy violates the Fourth Amendment, the United States Constitution? Sir, that's what our policy is. Do you have any identification? Well, uh, not on me. Hey, sir, are you requesting your identification? I need it now. That's not a law. Or leave the property. Leave we'll leave. This is the last okay. time you will be warned. Thank you, sir. Okay. There you go. All right. All Thank the way you. out the property, or you will be arrested. Where can I find that policy at? Is that online? Uh, you can possibly find it. Go to hopecounty.org. County.org. Yes, sir. Okay, where's the county attorney at? Um, probably over in the DA's office. Sure you need the property like you requested. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. You have a nice day. Oh, we will. You'll see us again. Right here. Yep. Yeah. What? Well, they, they told you to leave? Yep. Just now. We, we asked for some information. Tyrants in there. It says 05. Hey, take that. You left something on the ground. 0405 policy violates the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. He's, he said their policy requires that anybody inside there has to provide identification. Really? Yeah. And I said, your policy violates the Fourth Amendment? He said, sir, that's our policy. If you, and then dude walks out in the black, and he, he walks right up to press, dude, like this. I know, that's he what he's doing. He told you to leave it, blah, blah, blah. That's what, that's what he's doing to me when I first came up here. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go see the county attorney. I'm going to go see the county yeah, attorney. Okay. But I don't,
is a news network is now online. Yeah, easily over a hundred. What's the name of your badge number? Subject 97 D's fishing. He also has an AR-15 and a Glock.